Robbie Weeds here, uh, standing in front of a rose bush. You can see these uh, spots on uh, this rose. It's called a uh, black spot on roses. Very common, especially uh, in parts of the plant that get very clustered and doesn't dry off very quickly in the sun. Um, the mo they, uh, leaves stay moist for an extended period of time. Uh, it's very common, even resistance uh, cultivars of roses end up getting black spot. First step, uh, I would spray Dacanil uh, preventatively, especially if you have prolonged wetness. Um, see, even the stem's infected. Um, so first, Dacanil, switch it up with Mycoblutinil, Eagle 20WEW. Uh, um, rotate those back and forth and then uh, if you're the new growth is coming out infected then you know uh, you have a real serious inf uh, um, problem a real serious uh, disease going on uh, so if you can't cure it then you need to yank the plant out this spreads very quickly um, it will infect roses right next to it so if you can't cure it within uh, you would do the Dacanil and then 14 to 21 days later do the uh, Microbutanil, the eagle um, fungicide. And if by then you're not seeing the new growth coming in clean, then you need to yank the plant out because it will infect yours, your neighbors. Um, planting resistant cultivars sometimes works, but a lot of times I see uh, some damage. It might not be as extensive, but uh, I see black spot on roses every single day. So um, very common disease. Uh, Treating it preventatively, like a lot of ornamental diseases, is the only way to truly control it. None of these fungicides are really uh, work great as curative fungicides. So, you know, just keep that in mind that um, if you've had past problems and you're having really hot days with uh, really moist weather conditions, that you want to get out there and maybe sp uh, spray your Dacanil um, as a preventative. So, Robbie weeds out.